Hello and welcome to Passions and Pastimes. This is Pat. And today I have a very short video to profile Retro Rage Jewelry, which is a vintage jewelry store uh, on Etsy. And it is a store based in British Columbia, Canada. And I recently purchased four items uh, during their half price sale, which their half price sale seems to happen uh, fairly often. So you should check out the site. I'll put the information um, at the bottom of the video. But again, it's Retro Rage Jewelry. This is a lovely box I received. Um, came in a padded envelope. And inside the box, of course, was the Retro Rage um, uh, business card. And uh, the proprietor is Kathy. And here are the four pieces that I purchased. This is a purchase I uh, piece I started uh, seeing first of all. I sorry, excuse me. This is a piece I first saw back in October 2018 on their website, and I marked it as something that I would be interested in purchasing. It is a pin uh, of the Holy ha Family, Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, and uh, it's not uh, precious metal. Uh, I guess it would be brass. It's based on the color, and it's a pin. You can see it's a, a, not a safety pin, but um, a nice uh, pin whatsoever. It needs a little bit of uh, soldering back on the back of the pin. And it also has a place for ribbons, or I'm not sure what else, to put it on a slide of some sort. Um, but I thought that the detail was just lovely, and um, certainly something that I would wear. The second item that I purchased was something that was uh, pretty inexpensive, and I thought, why not? They need a little bit of cleaning. This is a pair of hematite uh, stud earrings. The uh, posts and the uh, ear nuts are uh, attracted to the magnet, but the rest of the earring is not. And this part of, around the, uh, the ball of hematite needs cleaning. Um, but that should be fairly straightforward. And since it was only a couple of dollars for a pair of earrings, I have so much other uh, hematite jewelry, I thought this would uh, be a nice accessory because I don't have, uh, until now, any hematite earrings. Then, because I am trying to collect jewelry from different vintage manufacturers, this is a pair of screwback earrings from Sherman. Uh, they are just plain um, clear or what you might call white rhinestones. Nice and sparkly. Um, no uh, obvious wear. A little bit of cleaning perhaps here on the back. There's, But it's Mark Sherman here on the, uh, the round part of the screw back. And the screw backs work perfectly well. Um, so uh, lovely... Uh, sparkly rhinestones to add to my collection and my first Sherman pieces. Certainly um, very affordable Sherman pieces. The final piece of jewelry that I purchased, I just couldn't resist. Take a look at the back of these earrings. It looks like, almost like some kind of medical device. If you look at the length of the screw back and the construction, it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. And it could be because it's a labeled um, patent number 1649187. And these are uh, were listed as 1920s era uh, marcasite earrings from Coro. And they are just gorgeous. I have a couple of other pair of Marcusite earrings, nothing at all like this, um, and I couldn't resist these. Now, the uh, in addition to the <laughs> backs being so unusual, I'm a little curious about the holes that are at the bottom of each of the earrings. Um, there aren't any Marcusites missing. None of the other Marcusites um, have holes, if you look at the back of the earring. Um, so I'm not sure if there was some sort of dangle um, or some other item there, or if that's just a design feature. So I will have to do some research on these earrings. Anyway, they are the oldest vintage um, uh, earrings or vintage jewelry that I have. 
um, perhaps aside from uh, something that I've inherited from my grandmother. Um, so uh, it'll be fun doing a, a, a search for these and see what I can find out about them. And even if they are missing something, I don't care because I just think they're sparkly and lovely. Anyway, that's the end of what I purchased from uh, Retro Rage Jewelry. And uh, I hope that you'll check out the Etsy site. They often have 50% off sales. And because the prices are in Canadian dollars, um, those of my uh, view who are American viewers will certainly find their prices very affordable. Um, thanks very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And have a great day.